this is the part two uh, about this place from outside of the center because that was one hour long video recording and so I have to continue from here uh, the bottom line is this people get paid like with a hard labor work uh, not gonna f not gonna forget the day when I spent like eight hours walking around uh, sticking flyers about a party how it's gonna be all for free all for free it was all for free work yeah, but it just reminds me of my of my backpacks of my stuff they destroyed you know how long it takes to saw the things to repair the things and how long it takes basically to just cut the things or as the case was when I was posting you know for every kind of abuse they found a way out uh, I would go and post like uh, stuff that is gonna be a party and stuff like this and the only thing that that's gonna happen like the, the organized party the only the only thing I would get the free tape and a free copy from her of my what I offer to the people would be like uh, whatever help at home so I would make myself some kind of money extra money something I would get some kind of job part-time job and of course I did that for free because I got the free copy and I got the free tape uh, not even uh, whatever you want to say that to to stick uh, <laughs> stuff to the trees and to the paws where we will frequently fall and the only thing she did was whatever was for her whatever was for her was posted uh, nicely advertised uh, how she's gonna have a party she left that thing on but <laughs> my sign that I offered uh, here uh, assistance uh, language skills course and so on help uh, the only thing she would do is she would just tear that thing off uh, that that stuff would just simply disappear and her stuff would stay on and so on this is exactly the type of stuff this is what these people these people so criminal eh? these people these people wanted you like totally confused like reality with the lies and it's exactly what I was told in Slovenia by this same polish people in slovenia it's like this it was done like this to you it's going to be done like this to you and really slovenia was beating five years of torture by psychiatrists but in poland we're going to try to do the same way it's going to be the same thing the only thing is going to be it's going to be done in a little bit different way it's going to be we're going to try to do this through the lies and if that's not going to work then we're going to try that other method i am look kind of a belief that um, MK Ultra was designed like this that they had this staff personnel different people and they would rate this different people according to their abilities to deal with certain issues and if these people would not perform like like if they would you know show any kind of emotional mental any kinds of issues like this they would simply interfere them to uh, psych psychologists, psychiatrists and stuff like this now if they would somehow manage to get through that stuff uh, to this immigration procedure whatever you want to call this in that case they would offer them employment and stuff like this I remember exactly the whole thing that's why I said that's why I'm so gutsy about this stuff that's why I say that's why I explain about the whole thing I'm not going to keep anything back because keeping the stuff back keeps me back you got to understand world is bigger than Poland there are people that are in US and there are in other places it become many of these people became successful people many of these people hate Donald Trump George W Bush under whom this torture went on I was even prompted do not talk about the George W Bush especially uh, if you're gonna talk there's nothing we can help you out and so on and so uh, as the song go by so people can see what world truly is like uh, there still might be a people that are gonna be willing to help there still might be people they're gonna uh, despite all this they're gonna they might step forward and somehow help me out in any way and I'm more than welcome that uh, this uh, forms of help I need I need to get the physical proofs I need to get the tape I need to throw them uh, in their face uh, the hardcore proof okay so 
boy, uh, when you think about it, these people even make money with video recordings and stuff like that, with, with this kind of stuff, and, and you know, it's, it's a dirty, it's a rotten world we live in. It's a filthy world. It's a filthy world. It's a filthy world. As much as I, as much as I remember these issues around this, around these people, they have all kinds of issues going on. But I was a neo-Nazi. I was a fascist. I was. I don't know what I was. Even that, I did not indicate any of that publicly. Any any kind of, any kind of hatred for Eastern Europe or anything like this. Boy, it was like this all the way to it was like this all the way to 2000 and two thousand meet two thousand and eight two thousand nine when MK Ultra already ended like two three years and finally I, I got pissed off. Uh, and I cursed the whole Eastern Europe. I got frustrated really with everything, uh, with everybody. Uh, and, you know, Germans under MK Ultra anticipated it's going to be like, you know, we're going to get the proof about the Poland, what Poland really is like, what this Eastern Europe really is like. And it was about the Polish politicians, about, uh, about uh, Slavic politicians in general. They fucking hate it. Norway, they hated Sweden, they hated Germany, they hated Britain, they hated US, they hated China, they hated everything they possibly can hate. They hated absolutely everything possibly they hate. Um, I was wrong. I was terribly wrong to take that extreme view that they that I allowed myself that they push me over the board so much that that you know all these issues that they they break you they steer you in a way that frustration anger you know stuff they do to you that i really took the side that is such a negative side historically as as a neo-nazi germany was this was a really really bad decision it was a bad thing to do it was a bad decision but i have also taken other crazy uh turns too when russians brainwashed and uh, on a Russia, on a Stalin and stuff like this, I started to see myself through their lies as they wanted me to see myself as a Stalinist, as a pro-Stalinist, as a pro-USSR. That was yet another mistake I have done and so on. You know, these people, these people are a filth, they are scum. They don't represent really people. They don't represent the Russian people, they don't represent Polish people. Um, they are just politicians and... It always comes to the very same issue. The money was good. They wanted to kill me. They wanted to do all kinds of stuff with me. But it always comes to the same issue. As much as they hate me, they hated me, they hated Americans. The money still, the money was good. That's all I got to say for this video. Um, now, I might maybe add something in respect to this Grotniki place, something, I don't know. Uh, but for right now, this pretty much would be it, and I'm kind of pleased with this version. Um, did I left anything out, important stuff like that? I don't think so. Um, I remember librarian telling me, you must be there on time. Remember, you must be there on time because these people related to the Varsho. She didn't say that these people related to the Varsho when we met again. But under MK Ultra, they, they insisted how you must be on time, how you must come on time. They are related to the Varsho and so on. American I have met over there in... Actually, this is the guy who helped me out. Met me uh, in Zgers Hospital. And is from Colorado. Well, Colorado, uh, that was one of the MK Ultra staff members who was here and was very hard working, very pleasant, nice guy. It was always good to go with these Americans, really. Uh, I had a good time going with them for the most part, unless it was some idiot, I, you know, I came across or something like that. One guy was nervous as hell, and that one really got, they really did directed him to, to, to psychologists and stuff like this, and 
he had all kinds of complaints and so on. It was all kinds of stuff. Another guy lost temper completely. It was a young guy from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And he would just start to bit my roommate. It was like a little chubby guy. And uh, one time, boy, he just exploded. And, uh, you know, it was about this uh, uh, Muslim stuff and so on. And he just started to beat him up and so on. But for the most part, these Americans are really nice. Uh, younger kids. Chris Pratt from Schwarzenegger, now married to Katherine Schwarzenegger, was here. He was about 24, 25 maybe even years old back then. Young kid who just started the movie career and for him really to take off in a Hollywood, he needed to make something like this. Uh, he needed to present himself really to uh, to potential producers in Hollywood to elites in America. They, they test people, they see people, see how they can accept people, see how uh, you know they can be seen as and so on and so forth on a global level. Uh, and so they do this stuff like this, they play with this stuff like this. They raid them and it happens just like with the presidents, before they even become these movie stars and so on, uh, they are rated, they are seen, uh, not exactly the same like with the presidents. Presidents interact before they become presidents. Um, they get to know each other, they get to know their, uh, they, um, how can I say, they, I'm not going to say coordinate, but what they do is they, um, they create the common paths. They 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 create common goals. They see where they can benefit both, you know. Uh, and they make their agenda according to that. And then what they do is they play the news. The news that you see through the mainstream media. Uh, when it comes to actors, it's just uh, something that they're rated, they're seen before they become what they become, before they earn that buck in Hollywood. Uh, you know, and then they are offered uh, according to, you know, ratings and stuff like that, according to how they are seen, then they get the offers. Or not. This also was a test for everybody here. They tested people big time to see how they're going to respond and so on. That much about this video. I know a whole lot about these things. Um, I would ask you, American, especially if you if you, it's going to be a situation again like this that you cross my path, you know, like you did, let's say, on a bus. Uh, it was this Canadian guy. It was a bus from Budapest to Bratislava, seated next to me like we did many times um, you know or you see me on watch or whatever give me the freaking uh, you know something you know just freaking watch me uh, uh, you know what what sense does it make you know to to just observe the person I mean it doesn't make any sense you see the person give the person that tape give him the the video recording, whatever you have, because you have that stuff. I also call Polish people from, doesn't matter, from other towns, from other areas, uh, to assist. To assist in this matter, because this this case belongs to the Poland. This, pay, this, this, this thing, I would not even insist on uh, I would not even insist on, oh, you have seen me, I have insisted on 200 billion euros uh, claim against these people. I have insisted on this stuff because they have deprived state of the Poland from, uh, from, from, from the first aid package. Uh, everything, absolutely everything, and it's not fault of Americans. It's fault of Kaczynski, it's fault of Zeman, it's fault of these politicians here. Everything went to Russia. And today, when you look at it, Russia absolutely gave nothing in return. Russia was eager to even get me inside of the Russia. Russia would steal 
Russia would steal even whatever the only, whatever you have from you. Uh, it's not true that Russia cannot give. Russia can give plenty. The problem with the Russia is the problem. The Russia is a problem. Russia under Putin is a big problem.